Sadly, there will always be people who want to commit suicide. But the question is, is it safe to change the law that one person assists another or not? And the proposals here are that doctors provide lethal drugs to patients with which to kill themselves. The problem is that these bills are just totally unsafe. There are no safeguards in them, they are mere qualifying conditions. You cannot predict how long somebody has to live, and to say that they have only six months is only a guess. There is no proper procedure around assessments. This seems to be almost trying to get death on demand. There isn't an adequate assessment of mental capacity. When people are ill and they're frightened, they're very subject to influences. They very easily feel pressurised that they're a burden. They're frightened of what lies ahead. If they don't get the care that they want, it's very, very easy to become demoralised, to feel that everything is hopeless. The denial of care should not be driving people into the despair of seeking suicide. I think you have to say in society, where are you going to put your resources? Are you going to say that actually we need to make sure that everybody gets the care that they need? It is the little things in life that matter and count, and it is the little things that break people. The other one is that people don't understand, A, how much palliative care can do for them, and that we have a duty of care and to redouble efforts. Those people working in palliative care with dying patients day in, day out, do not want to have any part of this at all. Only 4% of doctors working in palliative care are prepared to have any involvement in the assessment, processes that would need to go on, and in supplying lethal drugs to patients with which to do away with themselves because they see that this is a philosophy of despair and it's inappropriate. They want to be working to improve people's quality of life, help them decline treatments which aren't benefiting them, support them to die when their time comes, when their disease draws their life to a natural close. I'm concerned that at the moment, access to palliative care is a lottery. It's a postcode lottery. Some parts of the UK do not have seven day services. Some parts do not have advice available to other healthcare professionals at any time of the day or night. We've in, gone a long way to solve those problems in Wales actually. And my bill is to try to make sure that every patient, whoever they are, wherever they are, whenever they're in trouble, can access specialist advice and input to improve things and they're not left languishing because it's a weekend, a bank holiday or whatever, or that because they're being looked after by a team who don't even know how to access the advice that they need to improve care. Medical professionals do not want to be involved in this. The BMA policy, which is formed at its annual meeting, is that it is opposed to assisted suicide, physician assisted suicide. The College of Physicians and College of GPs have surveyed their members in depth, had a wide consultation. Over two thirds say, no, we do not want the law to change. We do not want to have anything to do with this. The BMJ, interestingly, as a journal, has tried to campaign and a poll only this week that they held still said that 65% of respondents are opposed to the proposals in the Maris Bill. Doctors do not see this as part of their care provision and they see it making more problems than it will ever solve. This is not the way to go.